This is Adam King. Thank you so much for tuning in to this channel. Today I want to talk to you about a verse of Scripture found in the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Very, very familiar verse of Scripture. It says, But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now, friends, I want to solve this mystery about where all this provision is. You know, the provision that you need. The provision that is, is waiting for you waiting for you to get a hold of, the ones, you know, you, the car you need, the house you need, the food you need, the clothes you need, all those things. I'm going to tell you where they are. Now, if you know Christ, this ought to be good news to you. If you don't know Christ, it still ought to be good news to you because you know where to go in order to get it. He says in this verse of Scripture that all that, so, all that supply, all the source of your supply is in the glory. It's in the glory. Well, where's that at? That in heaven? You mean I'm going to have to die before I can get it? No. He said it's in glory by Christ Jesus. Now, Colossians 1.27 says that Christ in you, the hope or the expectation of the glory of God. Now, if you can expect the glory of God, then you can expect the provision that's in the glory. This glory is for you. The provision is for you. The problem is we have been trained to go everywhere else for our provision. The world says, come to the banks, borrow the money. You need a house? Come on down. Get a car? Oh, yeah, come on over. We got a deal for you. Friends, those deals never work for you. They're always working against you because they're going to sucker you in to go in debt. And I'm telling you, when you go in debt, you're in deep trouble. Mortgage gets his word from morgue. <laughs> and that's death, friends. People that are in debt right now are trying to get out of it. They want to get out of it because they want to be free from it. But the problem is, is that because the mindset is I'm in the world, I got to do the things the world does. Once I get out of debt, I need to go back in debt again. And they always stay in bondage. Well, if they knew that Christ in them was the expectation of the glory of God to meet all their need, well, all the supplies are there. It's in you. Oh, you mean to tell me my car is in me? Well, how, well, how do I get my car if it's it? I mean, is it? I don't feel it. No, it's in you in word form. God created all things with words. And God said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you would ask what you will, it shall be done. Now, that sounds like you can get the provision you need and get a hold of it and produce it any time you open up your mouth and speak, believing you have in your heart what you say with your mouth. This is the law of faith, is the law that makes that makes your provision manifest. Now, not all of us have figured this out. I haven't figured it out. I don't know it all, but I do know, and I got sense enough to know that if you keep going to the world, you'll never produce the kingdom of God in your life. People are in need. I have people in other countries that are writing me and wanting to know what's going on and how come they can't get this and can't get that, and they're asking for help. I want, We want food. The kids need food. We got an orphanage here, an orphanage there. They need help. And I tell them, I don't give money. What I give is life. I don't, I don't give out money. Money's not the solution. If I give money, you'll be more dependent on money. But if I give life, you'll be, you'll be free from it. And the man who's mastered money is the man that can live without it. And it doesn't mean he does without it. It means his life's not hid in it. His, his life is hid in Christ. And Christ is the hope of glory in you. And that's where all the provision is. Now, it sounds good to hear this, but it takes discipline to work it. And that's when you're, you're in the press to get the needs met, to get the light bill paid, to get the rent paid, to get the mortgage paid, to get the clothes, to get the food, to, to supply for your family and all that. But but you, it's then those moments that you have to draw a line and say your loyalties are with the God of heaven. Your loyalties are with Christ. He is a faithful son over his own house whose house are we. He knows how to care for us. That's why he said, cast all our care upon him. And if we'll do that, we'll come to understand where that provision is and we'll experience it day in and day out. Friends, this is what we have to give attention to. Now, some people just don't want to do this. They are too wrapped up in the way things have always been done. But the traditions of men always make the power of God of none effect. It makes the word of God of none effect. If we're going to see the power of God and, and experience the power in the word of God, we're going to have to commit to it. That means God's going to have to be our source and be our only source. And when the world says you'll never get that through God, you'll have to stand, or stand your ground and say, I'll tell you one thing. 
I stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made me free. And Christ is the expectation of the glory of God. In the glory of God, my provision is there, and I'm free from the world system and free from the way they say I've got to do it. And by God, I'm going to stand fast in that law and that principle. And all the provision come to me now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you talk that talk. You talk like you have it. You let your every confession be a confession of faith that stands as if you have it now. It manifests. That means you can't talk about the needs anymore. You got to talk about the supply. And the supply makes you happy. The needs make you sad. So get off of the need and get a hold of the supply. The Lord told me years ago, he said, if you get a hold of a need, it'll get a hold of you. And it'll determine where you go. It'll drag you around. But if you get a hold of the supply, you'll be free. And you'll be free indeed. Friends, take a listen to this tape. Go back and listen to it again. Study the verses of scriptures that I've mentioned. And I'm telling you, it'll set you free. Well, thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again, I'm Adam King. God bless you.